I've noticed two things about our society. One, that we look at death like a failure, and it is evident all around us when we see obituaries in the news. They never say how the person died because subconsciously people will judge them. Like, how did they not see that coming? How, how could they have slipped in the shower? How could they have eaten and drank and who knows what drugs they did? And you know, it's like with any disease, we just, we blame ourselves and we have also, since the dawn of civilization, been hypnotized by the promise of eternal life. <laughs> Every generation believes that this generation has the actual key to immortality. Whether it was a sulfur hot spring in the 1900s or uploading our consciousness today. <laughs> But death is not something to be conquered. It's doubtful that it's even possible. There's no evidence that it's possible. <laughs> no, one's, no one's survived death. <laughs> but um, it really stems from a misunderstanding of death and a fear of the unknown, which is something that can make sense when we're living in the wild and we meet a tribe and we're wondering are they going to attack us or <laughs> befriend us. If we can look at it, we can see it actually as the end of suffering. When you know, death is really an experience that the living endure, not the dead. And when it is clouded by our longing for their presence, when it is clouded by our dreams for that person, when it's clouded by how we'll miss them and the impact it'll have on our lives, that is where most of the misunderstanding about death happens because it's that fear that clouds our judgment when someone passes. And we don't want to look at the fear, so we'd rather feel like it's this terrible experience for the ones we lost. And we'd rather do everything we can to fight against it instead of accept it. It's really that ultimate pain that we want to avoid. We always are trying to avoid pain, and we see that as the ultimate, but in reality, it is the ending of pain. And that is one of the beautiful processes that our bodies have, which is when the pain is too great, it stops. Something that, is neg something that is inevitable for all of us is by definition not a failure. But we are so used to comparing and competing. You know, it's like a baseball game where we're comparing stats, each other's bank accounts. How many friends showed up to the funeral? <laughs> How long did they live? How was the health? How attractive was their spouse? <laughs> And so, you know, these, it's just another game for the living, but it's another game that we can play or not play. And we can begin to see how it is purely detrimental and not really contributing to a happier, more peaceful existence and we can 
start to embrace the fact that this incredible universe that we were born into has a plan a little smarter than we can comprehend. And which means that anything that happens in our lives, we can make peace with. We can accept fully and know that it is part of this bigger design.